scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Obadiah chapter 1 has only one chapter. Verse 21. It's projected. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Together let's read. One to read. And saviors shall come up out of Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Please look up. The Bible names a group and a class of people. He calls them saviors. And then number two, he tells us their mission that they will judge the Mount of Esau to the end that the kingdom will be established as the Lord's in reality. Then number three, he will tell us where these people are coming out from. Zion. Take note of the following information. The name given to this class of people, he calls them saviors. Saviors. Mandated to preserve. Mandated to defend. Mandated to reveal saviors that they come out from mount zion and that they have the singular assignment of number one judging the mount of esau and number two seeing the establishment of the kingdom in reality this is a very powerful prophecy because when jesus came and he began to teach what we call the beatitudes he was adding flesh to prophecies like this when he said you are the salt of the earth he says and he says if the salt has lost its saltiness wherewith shall it be salted it is for no good except to be thrown and trampled underfoot by men do you know what salt is salt adds taste salt adds value and salt preserves many of our mothers and the women here can tell you that there are ways they can preserve whether meat or whatever protein they can use salt are we together now to preserve and the thing about salt is that it is never too late to add salt in food there are ingredients that if you don't add on time you've lost their validity or their usefulness but salt even when the food is on the table it can save you that embarrassment that means as the salt of the earth it is never too late for you to manifest even if you give your life to christ at age 70 there is still a place for you in destiny whether you add salt before you start cooking or after cooking it's not a mistake that is outside of the jurisdiction of management salt always has a way of fitting into the equation Many of us here cook. I like to use examples that have to do with cooking. Because it seems people seem to understand examples that have to do with money and examples that have to do with food. <laughs> Are we together? So assuming you brought me a wonderful plate of food and I taste it and the salt is not enough. I don't look at you and say go and throw that food and start afresh no i don't need to destroy the food i can still sprinkle salt and turn that food around 
and it will look as though it was there before that time by this revelation let me speak to someone it looks like you are already too late in destiny but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God like Saul you will catch up you will overtake and you will be relevant who would have known that the mandate to be the father of nations will come upon a man who began his journey at 75 we are not talking of Jeremiah who was a teenager. We are not talking of David who was a teenager. We are not talking of Joash who was a king at age 8 or Josiah at age 9. We are talking of an old man who would have known that a woman called Ruth who already was married, the children died, the husband died, came over and yet she became the great grandmother of Jesus, Saul. Oh, rejoice not over me my enemies I may have missed the purposes of God in 2015 but I am still salt I'm coming there is still space for me in that oh there is still space there is still space there is still space for that prophetic grace on my life there is still space for that apostolic grace please sit down are we still together? Salt. Then he says, Ye are the light of the world. It is never too late. The thing about light is that light is always associated with speed. You never light a room and give it five minutes to be bright. The moment light comes, darkness goes immediately speed no matter the pride of darkness when light shows up it is able to humble darkness according to John 1 verse 5 and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not so everyone say I am in ministry now you know what you are saying I am in ministry means I am motivated by my love for Jesus and I'm involved in activities that ultimately reveal Jesus and bring him glory everyone say I am in ministry never forget this teaching tonight shout it let the devil hear you say I am in ministry I may never climb a pulpit but Satan when you are counting ministers do not make a mistake of omitting me because I am in ministry and my contribution is so significant so it is your love for God your desire to see his kingdom come that moves you to become a businessman and when you are in oil and gas construction and people say ah mr. man you like money you tell them no 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 let me correct that narrative I am not just a businessman I am a businessman in ministry my business is only a subset I am in ministry because my motivation is not just money my motivation is my love for Jesus and my intention is to supply the financial resources that will help lift up the name of Jesus so you will pursue money unashamedly knowing that I am in ministry madam you have four children you are about to have the fifth one are you not tired of children and you tell them I am a mother in ministry I'm not just feeling children all around no I would have stopped at baby number three but I had a vision that my fifth child is a prophet and I will not stop the nations from having that prophet therefore my delivery is not just getting pregnant I am in ministry Hear me you are a student here if the only reason why you are sitting down to take lectures is because you are afraid of failure it's not enough motivation while every other student is listening you are listening to why why are you giving your studies this kind of attention and you let them know that number one 
more than just a desire to do well and to excel i am in ministry as a student what is the ministry i need good grades so that i will get to this place that god is sending me to because someday i'm the one who will protect and defend the purposes of god so because of that i pay attention to what i'm doing your motivation becomes unusual it is not just to pass exams and go i love you forever now you know what you're singing i love you forever I love you forever. Hey. I love you forever. So, you can be a man of God, but what will make you a man of God in ministry is not the ability to preach, it is the motivation that I'm taking advantage of the privilege of the pulpit motivated by my love for jesus i intend to use the tool of teaching scripture or the tool of preaching in a crusade or the tool of prophecy or the tool of ministering to the sick to reveal jesus and bring him glory if you're a worship minister you may be a christian worship minister but what makes you a worshiper in ministry is that you have the honor of using the gift of your voice and your songs motivated by your love for Jesus not a desire to have fame alone so when you stand to minister more than your voice when you stand to minister more than a desire to be part of the highest selling record artists it's a desire to see Jesus glorified and heaven signs you in and says you are in ministry Elijah was prophesying Isaiah was prophesying from chapter 1 to chapter 5 but he was not yet in ministry Isaiah officially started ministry in chapter 6 chapter 1 starts with him prophesying chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 chapter 5 and then chapter 6 says in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord when he saw the lord he thought that they would say oh man of god you are doing a great job when he got there all he heard was who shall we send heaven was looking for ministers when they were still preachers on earth heaven was looking for ministers when they were businessmen on earth so when i tell you in this end time that god is looking for men he's had enough pastors he's had enough apostles he's had enough evangelists he's had enough students there are about 7.6 billion people on earth many of them are preachers many of them are prophets many of them are apostles many of them are husbands many of them are wives only a handful are ministers is someone understanding my teaching tonight now very quickly i may not do so much tonight just to give us this introduction let me share with you a few keys let's discuss the making of these saviors how did these ordinary men become saviors in the bible and how do ordinary people transit in the spirit until they become saviors doing the work of the ministry you have to understand how this works mm. I lift my hands to you you're the awesome God I lift my hands to you awesome God awesome God I lift my voice You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Awesome God. 
Matthew chapter 4 and verse 19 let's begin to examine scripture to see how God makes ordinary men listen to me you are a young person here in ministry or trusting God to walk in the ministry now you know what I'm saying whether it is the fivefold or ministry as far as representing the purposes of the kingdom is concerned just because you have a destiny in Christ does not mean you will be used the way you are how many of you know that every time you see a job vacancy under that announcement there are conditions is that true we are looking for a driver say and they will tell you he should have the following number one a driver's license number two at least five years experience so when you look at it even though there is a vacancy you have to find out first whether you have subscribed for that qualification an oil and gas firm is open they are looking for a b c d but here are the conditions if you meet that condition you can take the step if you don't very sincerely you back down we all have enviable destinies in Christ but sadly not many of us will have the opportunity to walk in the fullness of that call except you pay attention to what I'm about to share within the next few minutes lay your hands on your head and pray in the spirit in one minute Lord open my understanding I'm about to share with you within the next 10 to 15 minutes the making of saviors please prophesy my mind is open my spirit man is open to receive in Jesus name Matthew chapter 4 please and verse 19 let's see how Jesus himself recruited ordinary men because you see theologically speaking the way you study scripture is to look at the models the Bible says the things that are written at four time they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope is that true so we look at the model the way it was done in scripture and we build our pattern around it so here is Jesus in ministry and he's about to draw ordinary men who would later be the apostles of the lamb the bearers of this light are we following now he says and he said unto them follow me everyone shout it say follow me and I will make you fishers of men leave that scripture there so we see that Jesus had an assignment in the life of the believers but they had an assignment to themselves their own assignment is follow me Jesus never said follow it he said follow me that means the first requirement listen to me if you want to be made by God the first requirement according to scripture is to understand that your calling is to Jesus not to ministry your calling I know we say we are called to ministry but every believers calling is not to a thing you are not called to a city necessarily you are not called to a pulpit you are not called to business your calling is to Jesus when Jesus finds you he calls you first to himself it is Jesus who makes it is not ministry that makes follow me follow me is the first call listen until you fulfill your calling you cannot fulfill your ministry your calling to Jesus if you have not fulfilled that calling to Jesus you will never be effective as a savior when God is about to walk with men he calls them to himself hmm. very powerful very very powerful come follow me he says so you begin that followership the goal is to eventually become a witness a savior a world changer but the first assignment 
is to Jesus our calling is to Jesus this is the secret of my life you can never fail in ministry if you succeed in following if you succeed in following you can never truly fail everybody say follow me everybody say my calling is to Jesus now what happens when he calls you there are many things I will run through them two or three things for the sake of the night we're going to pray and um, we may not have all the time to discuss but the first thing that happens when the Lord calls you to himself listen to me when he calls you to himself he submits you through a season of dealing that leads you to a state in the spirit called brokenness Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20 when he calls you to himself he does not send you he does not empower you when Jesus called the disciples he called them to himself he didn't send them there was no mention of anointing the first thing he began to do was to work on them their ideologies their convictions their passions are we together I have been crucified with Christ Paul said nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ that lives in me and the life that I live in the flesh or the body I live by the faith of the Son of God now please listen to me I'm sharing with you something very deep now I'm showing you why many people are not powerful in the spirit I'm showing you why many people do not have authority over nations and systems many people were called they did not stay to excel in their calling and they quickly left their calling to do ministry when he calls you it is to reveal himself to you and to make you you see that pattern all through scripture when Moses was about to be sent the first thing God did was to call him he saw a bush that was burning and not consumed he said I will turn aside and see this great sight and the moment God called him he said take off your shoes for where thou standest is holy ground and he says I'm going to send you to this and that and that and Moses said whom shall I tell them has sent me and he says you are calling for a revelation of me I am that I am when he revealed himself to Moses and Moses had that encounter he said now on the strength of this encounter go to Pharaoh do you know listen to me it never tires me to share a bit of my story when I started with God sir I didn't even know that there was anything called ministry I sincerely loved him with all my heart when I started with God it was not a pursuit for money it was not a pursuit for fame it was not a pursuit for apostle I didn't even know that I was going to be a preacher all I wanted was his presence all I wanted was his glory all I wanted was Jesus is still my pursuit till tomorrow Jesus Jesus it was not power I was looking for it was not anointing I was looking for it was not revelation I was looking for Jesus I wanted him desperately he was the object of my pursuit reveal yourself to me oh lord grant me the privilege of knowing you show me your face show me your glory that was my pursuit it still remains my pursuit till today do you know why it's important to meet jesus because if you do not encounter jesus the challenges that will be waiting where you he will send you to you will not have the stamina to face them I hope you know that between Moses and the nation of Israel in captivity is a wizard called Pharaoh you are not going to be able to do justice to Pharaoh 
until you meet with Jesus. Elijah was asleep and he was given food, bread to eat, which was a type of Jesus. He says, eat the journey you are about to take. You have not started that journey. There is still a level of nourishment you need to have. He ate a little and slept and the angel tapped him and said, I know where you are going. The journey is far. Prophesy to someone by your left and right. Say, my brother or my sister, the journey is far. Don't rush as if you are going to finish ministry tomorrow. The journey is far. Your first call is to Jesus. If you have not met Jesus, fame will kill you. If you have not met Jesus, money will kill you. If you have not met Jesus, honor will kill you. If you have not met Jesus, pride will kill you. If you have not met Jesus, lust will kill you. You may never know the tendencies that are in your heart until they honor you with some little fame. Apostle Joshua Selman, suddenly you find out that your passion for prayer is no longer there because after all, it was an ambition. You wanted to be successful using the tool of ministry. I tell you this as as I grow in the Lord and as I grow in ministry and in leadership I begin to see the vanity of everything in life outside of Jesus and believe me I know what I'm saying in my own little way I have seen God honor me I know what it means to stand before kings and nobles I know what it means to be honored but I tell you this it is absolutely nothing. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I will tell it to my world. Jesus is more than gold. Hear me, look at me. There are many of you here. If we keep Jesus here and we keep fame here, you will not only run to carry the fame, you will push Jesus while you're on your way to picking that fame. There are many campus fellowship presidents looking at me. You are preaching but you are not in ministry. Because the idea is not the revelation of Jesus. There are many sincere people. It was never Jesus. It was a desire to outshine or a desire to prove a point to your loved ones that you are not a failure. As important as that is, that is too small a reason. While I sat back here and I watched many of you watching the protocol bring me and people were clapping. You know my prayer? Oh God, may these people not be deceived by some of these things sitting in front holding a mic having protocol move you those things are just systems of honor just to coordinate and appreciate the grace if your heart help those under the anointing there if your heart is far from god listen to what i'm telling you you will never be a mighty tool that god will use in this end time it is the reason why many people will keep preaching but they will find out that God has moved and you are just doing your thing alone and you are saying God you did not carry me along he said no I carried you you came down from the carriage in 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 a bid to find honor in a bid to find money and many of you here our wonderful ones and students be careful who you mentor and how you get mentorship be careful what you are learning because some of you as sincere as you are you are already learning mistakes not by bad people they may be sincere people be careful what you are learning drop all this pride for nothing drop all this self for nothing looking for an empire for myself and return back to the place where great men are made let me show you how the great are made in this kingdom this is how they are made for as long as your knees remain on the ground you will remain on top 
is a mystery can I tell you this many years on campus there used to be a lot of people fellowships and different people and I don't say it from a standpoint of sarcasm there were all kinds of groups of young men and women people in ministry around and sometimes you would see a young man with over five six protocol with a briefcase with some and you see everybody just doing what they believe is the idea of ministry and I was afraid for these people because I know they were sincere people I can tell you more than 99% without exaggeration they are not even in ministry today because God is not a herbalist no there is a track record of brokenness please hear me you have to learn this thing I'm teaching you there is nothing in my life today I cannot give you when Jesus calls you to himself he breaks that flesh all of the tendencies that can make you misrepresent him tomorrow he now begins to open yourself to you how you know it is the God of the Bible you have met is that he will reveal yourself to you and you will see the field and the tendency you will see all of the lust and the pride he will not condemn you but he will tell you my dear one you come as you are but you are never sent as you are the assignment is follow me and I will make you look at me how do you make yam you start peeling the back is that true you think it's easy you think the yam wants you to use knife on it like that when you are washing the rice when you are peeling the ingredients you are taking them out of their original configuration so that they can fit into the pot the onion came whole but for it to be useful in the food you have to cut it and the onion has to stay sometimes the onion will fall out you will hold it back and keep chopping it but it is that staying power that makes the food look delicious are you willing to stay until you are dealt with until you are broken are you willing for your pride to be broken are you willing for your sense of of self aggrandizement to be broken so that at the end of it everything that is left is Jesus some of you these are the dreams God has been showing you for a long time every time you say i'm in ministry you go to a dream and that dream shows you a semblance of a training of the spirit hmm. please take it half for you at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that I see. It's not a special number. Don't sing it as a special number. At the center of my life, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Listen, I just wanted you to get that word. Hear me, my dear sister, Esther may start from Shushan but between Shushan and the throne there is a making that must happen to her that version of Esther that came into the palace is not the version that will sit on the throne oh dear Ruth I know in your destiny you will be the great grandmother of Jesus but not this version of you there are some of you who will be mighty tools in the hands of God but the way you are now the anointing you are praying for cannot come on this version of you not with the carnality and the pride and the flesh so God says I will anoint you but not now come follow me follow me follow me if it's the anointing you are looking for he says follow me not ministry not come follow ministry not come follow mantles not come follow anointings not come follow sermons follow me not even come follow a man of God follow me submit to my making it may be painful but submit to my making I will give you prayer assignments to 
to prune your flesh i will give you fasting assignment to prune your flesh i will give you study assignment are you willing to submit i can send you to a fellowship although you're a man of god i can say start as an usher do you have the humility to be an usher although destined to be an apostle Lakata paraska de beleke branda gabarusi atika. Shave neke te beleke tabroske dia. This is how the great are made in this kingdom. This is how men of stature and power are made in this kingdom. They are not made on stage. They are not made wearing suits. They are not made wearing a mic. They are not made with their pictures on posters. It is death. Death is a price for life. Death is the price for life. Death is the price for life. Death is the price for life. Except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies. It abides alone. Hear me in Sukkah. Hear me east of the Niger. The generals and the champions that are about to rise will not just rise as men of God wearing suit. You will be in the cave of Adulam. There is a dealing of the spirit. Some of you, that's the season you are in now. Romans chapter 8 and verse 18 for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with us hear me let me tell you how God makes men for some of you you may not have a church now nobody knows you God will not even tell you the extent to which he will use you so that you are not distracted but there is a mighty battle acts heaven is training every night he will give you an assignment pray under that tree for two hours non-stop you will finish and go back tomorrow you will go lord what are you doing with me where are we going with this training you just continue there is the making of a savior happening hear me there are some of you called to be kingdom financiers to finance nations it will not come because you have a business you may receive your scholarship or you may receive some money and God will tell you go and sow everything he's not interested in the money he wants your heart to be disconnected to it Lord why will I go and sow everything Abraham you want to become a father of nations let me show you take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest take him by yourself to a mountain and offer him as an offering you're not going to do ministry giving people invitation invite me i am an anointed man no sir no sir there is a scar that you must have that is the scar that becomes your honor let no man trouble me he said for i bear in my body i did not jump the school of the spirit i stayed there are some of you you are not members of you are not leaders in any fellowship you are not campus presidents you are not pastors around the city and yet you represent the prophetic and apostolic voices that will be lifting the banner of christ in this city apostle how will men know me stay with the spirit we become known when we stay with him follow me let the maker make you the maker is an expert in making he made the heavens and the earth he can make any destiny can i tell you this the making process is the hardest process in your journey of work with god there is a circumcision you will go through lord why are you doing this to me say circumcision they can be holding a crusade that was not organized by you and god will say pay for 10 buses for that crusade and don't announce to anyone you are the one 
how will they clap for me that's what i'm trying to kill next time you want a mantle or anointing upon a man of god's life don't just rush to get impartations you must find out the pathway that prepared that vessel to be able to host that level of grace yes. saviors shall arise from mount zion notice that when god is making you there is no mention of anointing there is no mention of impartation you are not empowered when you are called you are empowered when you are sent there is a difference empowerment is when he's sending you not when he calls you you don't need anointing when he calls you you need brokenness you need discipline it is when he sends you we have to pray I sense a boiling happening in this place already Psalm 139 verse 23 some of you are crying because the Holy Ghost is speaking to you return to the place where we started for some of you that's what God is saying return to the place where we started before fame distracted you return to the place where we started return to the four horns of the altar where no one knew you before a job and money and salary before titles apostle pastor distracted you return i'm still waiting for you there you have not finished your training they call you man of god i call you student return back i've not graduated you from the school of the spirit Preachers, there are some of us that need to return. Lord, I'm in ministry, but I return. I'm not ashamed to start afresh. I'm tired of acting like everything is all right. Why am I not carrying the unction for the end time? Why am I around revival and yet not part of those lifting that banner? Something is wrong. Psalm 139 verse 23 let's hurry up we have to pray search me oh God let me tell you what happens when you come to God when you come to God it does not clap for you and say MOG businessman no his presence is not only a place of joy his presence is a threshing floor his presence is where he makes people Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and even know my thoughts. 24. 24. Very quickly. Same, same chapter. And see if there be any wicked way in me. I don't even know whether there is a wicked way in me. So before I disappoint myself, search me. till today and till forever when I go to God I don't go to him as Apostle Joshua Selman that's nonsense am I an apostle to him? no Jesus is not my church member he's Lord of all so when I go to him I still go to him as that his boy Lord they call me their man of God but I'm here as your child search my heart search my heart they call me anointed man you call me student I am still in training they call me prophetic person but I am still your student search my heart mm. try my thoughts Lord, don't mind what they are saying. My eyes are on you. 
show me what I need to change show me what I need to adjust show me what I need to build don't let their applause be louder than your voice in my life man can clap you until you fall and die even when you veered off from the things of God they will still be clapping for you if it is power from heaven you want if it's authority over systems you can learn every Greek and Hebrew you want to learn you will be shocked that the impact you think should come from it will not come from it there is nothing that can replace genuine brokenness you can fast for 100 days if you are not broken forget about genuine power you can learn every Greek Latin Hebrew word that death is the price for life you can print posters I'm not being sarcastic forgive me but you can place posters with your ministry and your face everywhere you will be surprised that the result you think should come from it will not come because there has to be a witness in the realm of the spirit I love him with everything this is one of the secrets you want to experience the hand and the mercy of God the mercy of God does not come to careless people it comes to people who admit that I need you just because it is messy does not mean it will come anyhow <clears throat> Your heart must be prepared. Lord, I don't know what I am without you. Tonight, I'll have to stop here because I need to pray for you. Hear me? The end time call, I can tell you this. The Holy Spirit is moving across nations like never before. The Holy Ghost is moving across Africa like never before. Moving across Nigeria like never before. He's not looking for everybody. There is a type of man that God is looking for. And it is my prayer in this conference. May you be that type of man that God finds for this end time fire that is blazing across the nations. May you be that type of worshiper may you be that type of preacher may you be that type of businessman may you be that type of prophet that he's looking for in two minutes i'm going to allow you with the lord your maker i don't know how you are going to cry to god in two minutes you alone and say lord i repent I'm coming back to the heart of worship When it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I did When it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus It's all about you it's all about you. Cry your heart to your maker. It's all about you. Is someone crying to the Lord? I come before you, O oh God, just as I am. There's nothing to hide. There's nothing to hide. Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Take your place Take your place Take your place 
your place two minutes cry your heart to your maker Shema na ma na na ma ni na na Allah barata ka da brat ka ni kata Shema na na ma na na Shema na ma na na ni na ba sa Rata ba la ka da brat ka da brat ka ni Please pray just two minutes and we're done. Oh Lord, will you put my life in order for you? I wanna burn for you. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. For you. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, there are vessels of wood and of clay, some unto honor and some unto dishonor. He says, If a man will purge himself, purge himself. Purge himself, purge herself, purge himself. That man will be a vessel unto honor, meet for the master's room. Yes, Shana ma se na malade, she la 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 ma se na damaya. Hallelujah. I want to pray a prayer. We have a few minutes. But I want to pray. There are people here. There is a baptism of fire that is coming upon you. I want to, to bring the people out here. There is such a baptism of fire. This is not deliverance. This is an impartation of strength fire is coming upon your life and ignition holy fire burn upon my altar within the spirit to take over holy fire burn upon my Father, I pray, let this mantle of fire over and suka at the count of three. Let men and women catch fire. Men of God, bring them out. Women of God, one, two, three, take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon your life the fire of the holy ghost upon your destiny the fire of the holy ghost burning every chaff burning everything that must die that must go take that fire in the name of jesus take that fire in the name of jesus take that fire bring them out Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah! 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 There are people here who are stepping into a grace for intercession. Prophetic intercession is coming on you. Bring them out right now. I stretch my hands all over this auditorium. May that fire for prayer, fire for warfare in prayer, prophetic intercession. May that grace mantle you right now. Help that woman. Let it mantle you right now. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Bring them out. I'm praying for them. Palada kabre dega deka skoto brahaskadi. Shamanda skadi la hashkada braskadi balati. I'm seeing a coal of fire. And the Lord is telling me he's touching the lips of people here. He's touching the utterance. God is giving men and women utterance. Utterance by the Spirit. Capacity to speak with fire. Capacity to preach with power. Utterance. Oh, Ketalia Skatabata. May that call touch your lips. May that call touch your lips. Hallelujah. That gentleman wearing white, putting your hand on your head, come. Are you a pastor? Come. Lift your hands. The Lord is bringing you into a new dimension. There is a wine coming on you. Take that fire in the name of Jesus Christ. This new wine of the Spirit. Indeed, you will drink that wine and never thirst again. Never thirst again. This gentleman, you come. What do you do? I was in the military. God told me to leave the military and do the service. Don't go into full time for him. This he asked me to move to Osuka and align for him. He asked you to do what? To move to Osuka to raise the end time soldiers for him. Oh, God brought you here to do ministry. Yes, sir. Let me pray for you. I'm seeing there is a fire that is coming on your life. Right now, I stretch my hands. Fire from heaven. Let it fall upon you and change your life. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. This woman, I don't know who she is. You come. This one, yes. What do you do? Listen, I, I didn't hear you. Sir, I said I own a business. I graduated 2019. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord lifting you for his namesake. He's giving you influence among kings and even people in government. Do not forget the reason why he's doing this. Like Esther, the purpose is kingdom come. I stretch my hands. May that grace, that mantle for favor. Baris keti lakatuziata. You will drink of that wine and never thirst again. Man of God, what do you do? Huh? You are a pastor. Where? Here in this city? In Suka, yes. In Suka. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. 
your life is about to change the spirit of revelation and the healing anointing these two graces you have cried you have prayed it's time to step into that fire take that fire in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ now if you are sick in your body our time is up just lay your hands i want to pray for you we may not have the time to take testimonies but lay your hands i want to pray for the sick then i do the final impartation how many of you brought your prayer requests we asked you yesterday did you bring it have you submitted it okay now very quickly here's what we'll do whilst i am praying for this group of people please ushers or whether you are an usher or not especially if you are part of this ministry find something to do very quickly get the prayer requests and let's bring them to the stage here please campus fellowship presidents or leaders join join and do something now please and if you are yet to write it write it quickly write it quickly and submit it wave your hands Past my sin, my guilt, my shame. Just your prayer request please just the prayer request the only thing we need now is your prayer request you look beyond me oh. you look beyond me oh. Oh. now I'm the one you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me mercy I'm the one you have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. I'm about to pray for the sick, but everyone in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Everything that must leave your life now, please let's save time. Open your mouth within the few minutes that we have. Speak to the Lord. Everyone here, is someone praying? Someone is praying, Father, this challenge in ministry, in my health, my family, these Egyptians that I see today, that I see them no more forever. This spiritual laxity, this lukewarmness. Very quickly, please, let's pray. hallelujah now when you're ready with the prayer request please bring them up here very quickly let me pray for the sick i promise to do that and i'll pray for the sick among these people wearing white the power of god is coming on one of you well eh? there's one of you i just saw an anointing just a strong fire coming on one of you please help them when that happens this fire is to ignite you and god is going to begin to show you revelations very very strange help them please Help, help her, help her, help her, please. Don't let them enjoy themselves. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. I'm about to pray for the sick. Please lay your hand where you are trusting God for healing. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. I'm standing in faith with all the servants of God here and we're about to speak healing 
to your body agree with me as i pray in the name of jesus nsuka shout a believing amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ right now i command every devil of infirmity hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus christ every spirit that is back of any sickness and infirmity i curse you let god's people go now let god have a help them please let god's people go now let god's people go now let god's people go now now i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed my god be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus migraine headaches be healed in the name of jesus every bone condition be healed in the name of jesus every blood condition we we change every genotype and every blood condition that is faulty be changed now in jesus name the Lord is healing hepatitis B. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blind eye, please help them. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Every blood vision, eyes open now in Jesus' name. Ears open now in Jesus' name. Every fibroid, every lump around your breast your stomach any part of your body i curse it be healed now in jesus name recorded my great headache the lord is healing it right now in jesus name every infection that came from the realm of the spirit through dreams in the name of jesus christ i break that influence over your life now heart palpitations be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed right now in the name of jesus pile the lord is healing pile I declare healing for you right now in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a lady you've not seen your period your circle for a prolonged time and it is irregular and for a long time you've not seen it it's giving you concern I declare restoration of normalcy now anyone barring here hear the word of the Lord whether for you or for someone you are standing in for i declare by the spirit of the living god barrenness comes to an end now hotness hotness around the body just severe heat whether the weather is hot or not help them please your body is constantly hot I decree and declare let there be restoration of normalcy now COVID-19 be healed now in the name of Jesus HIV AIDS be healed now in the name of Jesus cancer be healed now in the name of Jesus diabetes be healed now in the name of Jesus. I pray also for your loved ones. Some of you have left sick family members across various parts of this nation and around the world. Oh, may the angel of his presence touch them where they are. 
and bring them life and healing like the centurion's son may they be touched and healed now in jesus name anyone here under the sound of my voice appointed unto death that death has been following you or following your abakatoski following your family right now i decree and declare in the name of jesus oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory i rebuke death from your life now please i like you to stretch your hands towards the altar here everyone stretch your hands to these prayer requests we are praying jesus is bringing healing deliverance this is the most accurate representation of your prayer request in the next one or two minutes i'm going to bow my knees before the lord and i want to agree with you that these egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever hallelujah stretch your hands and begin to pray my altar is calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god my covenant is calling you oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear oh speak from the throne and i'll hear from the earth my worship is calling you someone is praying you have written here I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony hear me any altar 
that fights the answer to this prayer may the earth open and swallow them now hear me every destiny helper who must partner with god to see that these requests are answered we provoke their ministry over your life now and hear me anyone who says over his dead body for this request to be answered may the earth open and swallow them I speak to you by this apostolic and this prophetic mantle hear me Usuka. these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus and by the God of heaven you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever the same way I'm standing prophetically over this request everything that has risen above you I bring it under your feet now let me pray for you we're rounding up there are many of you who have seen this in dreams there are mantles there are graces some of you are in a strange season with the Holy Ghost the Lord has been working on you building you even for this season men and women alike I pray for you right now the mantle of your destiny that must come upon you and turn you into a savior wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ from my left to my right from the front to the back at the count of three I like you to shout Jesus as you receive that mantle one two three shout Jesus take that mantle take that mantle take that mantle take that mantle prophetic mantles apostolic mantles business mantles leadership mantles ministerial mantles let it come upon you now let Unsuka never be the same hear me I stand by the privilege of the prophetic gates of revival over Unsuka east of the Niger I stand as one sent I speak to the gates of revival be open here and Tita. Be open here and Tita. Apostolic fire, prophetic fire, evangelistic fire. We declare Maranatha. Let the power of God come. Let revival come upon your campus, upon every church, upon the territory of Insuka. Generals arise. Prayer warriors arise. Apostles arise, pastors arise. We pray for every church represented in Nsuka Anglican, Methodist, Catholic, Pentecostal, Presbyterian. For as long as they name the name of Christ I stand in unity with all our fathers and the leaders veterans of the gospel here represented we declare over the land of Nsuka the church is marching on the church over your campus the church is marching on over Nsuka the church is marching on hear me the walls of this unity the walls of division the walls of competition the walls of bitterness and envy and jealousy men of God fighting men of God student presidents fighting students president fellowship fighting press fellowship let it come to an end right now 
hear me there is a dimension of God that no single individual can reveal it takes a corporate body of Christ to reveal that dimension of God I pray for the campus the kind of excellence you have never seen on your campus in the name that is above all names from your vice chancellor to the members of senate the deans of the colleges and faculties heads of department lecturers we declare supernatural intelligence and empowerment and i pray for every faculty every department in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of the christ i decree and declare a new wave of extraordinary performance hear me some of you are wondering and say apostle is it not when i pay my school fees that i can even finish i pray for you may help arise from unusual sources i say it again may help arise from unusual sources by prophecy even though it is a meeting hosted by Shekinah assemblies but because we have stepped our feet upon this campus we attract helpers within the country and out of this country may they come into your campus and support the cause of the kingdom may they support development may they bring grants that will help the students excel in the name of Jesus Christ hear me if there is any rain of cultism on your campus I step my feet upon this ground we command the earth to fight anyone who becomes a nuisance to the advancement of studies upon this campus hallelujah praise the name of the Lord finally we pray for Shekinah assembly the privileged ministry that God has sent many of you are connected to this grace we have to honor the vessel and the ministry that God used for all of you who are part of this church family or will be part of this church family I stand and declare by the Spirit of the Living God let it be a new season for you let it be a new season for you let it be a new season for you I pray for the man of God, Reverend Vindio Lu, and his dear wife, the pastorate, the eldership, ordained workers, and all who stand to support this grace. I speak to you by the apostolic and the prophetic. Let a new door of influence be opened over you. A new door of increase be opened over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I remember very quickly, I was told, I was told to do this yesterday. I don't know if we can do it if you are a campus fellowship president godly born again disciplined campus fellowship president okay and joint joint christian body please come quickly and stand here let's celebrate them as they come i hope you understand what i'm saying please come stand let me just pray for you very quickly 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 just come stand quickly let's pray campus fellowship president and the joint christian body i was told please come and stand here stretch your hands over these great leaders and pray for them they represent the spiritual leaders over your campus please stand stand for space are you stretching your hands to pray for them you don't have to know them and you don't have to belong to their fellowship just pray that the purposes of god will be established through their lives while they are on campus Pray for discipline, pray for character, pray that they will be worthy representatives of the kingdom, pray that they will also excel in the academics. Many of you may never understand the burden of being a spiritual leader as well as a student. The challenges, the attacks, pray for them, pray that there will be unity. It's easy to fight, it's easy to compete, it's easy to compare, but pray that God will help them to mature to a point where they love and need one another more than revelation more than anointing more than ministerial calls 
that they will look past the walls of division they will look past the walls of prejudice they will look past the walls of hatred denominational barrier and stand to lift up the name of jesus as a unified force stretch your hands and pray for them pray for yourself for grace to respect them as touching their capacity as leaders pray that they will finish strong that none of them will fall by the wayside they will be men and women of character men of fire men who will excel in the academics even whilst they serve and that when they are done with their program here on campus they will not become a warning to others rather they will be an inspiration to others many have served just like them and today they have become warnings to others pray against the spirit of pride pray against complacency hallelujah now please look at me ladies and gentlemen I salute you and I congratulate you for being leaders over this campus can I tell you this do not despise the enormity of this responsibility God has given you like Jeremiah don't say I am young but you see it is required in all stewards that you be found faithful I know that you represent different fellowships and here and there there might be differences in beliefs and all of that but please make sure you and your fellowship does not become a nuisance to the advancement of the kingdom in the campus respect one another one of the keys to unity is mutual honor you cannot dishonor another president using the 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 basis of revelation or basis of this my general overseer is this you will cause trouble in the campus and the people you are leading you will make them hate and fight one another you must have the heart of unity I know there are differences doctrinal differences here but you should be able to greet one another how are you sir God bless you my love to your fellowship people don't fight and don't mentor people don't give that false and childish impression if it is not us God is not doing anything it's a lie no single individual sustains the power to host all of God it will take the corporate workings of God there are some of you is the area of excellence and leadership some of you the prophetic some of you soundness of doctrine some of you character and moral excellence embrace one another there are some of you here who need to work on your character i will tell you up front obtain grace from god go and sit down don't say it does not matter work on your character so that you will be vessels enough some of you may need to work on spirituality some of you need to balance other aspects of your life do not forget that even though you are a president you are also a student in the school of the spirit most presidents and most leaders they take this thing on their head to the point that when they hand over they can't even walk among people again because of shame because every respect was given them because of the title not because people loved them love people and be humble all this pride pride throw it away do not subscribe to wrong mentorship don't subscribe to wrong to anybody including me don't let anybody mentor you wrongly look at our lives but let your ultimate attention be on Jesus whilst you learn don't cause trouble in the campus be an agent of unity be an agent of love embrace one another I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I stand in faith and partnership with the various ministries and overseers and men of God who you represent in this campus I pray together as a coordinated spiritual force may his kingdom come through your lives may his glory be revealed through your life let the era of jealousy and fighting and backbiting and tearing down one another and name calling let it come to an end through your set and I pray for your academics let it not suffer while you serve if there's any one of you having any academic challenge right now I agree with you by faith may the Lord show you mercy you will mentor the student body correctly they will love you even beyond your titles in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you and I bless the works of your hands it will never be that at the end of your journey that you will be an instrument of shame your honor remains with you even when you hand over in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you 
the Lord increase you go from glory to glory in Jesus name I pray Nusuka once again thank you so much for your love thank you for receiving of this ministry I appreciate every man of God may you go from glory to glory in Jesus name I pray you are remember okay this can go we ask that you package a special seed for the servant of god he's going to pray and bless those seeds. hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you